Hey guys, what's going on here? This is John from JTB Metal 123, and I'm here to start out another season of my metal show. And uh, I'm pretty stoked here, you guys. Um, I'm going to bring back a band that I've discussed before, but I have to do it again considering on the recent events that have, that have happened. Um, since my last episode, they have put out a new album and everything, and I have to talk about this. So I'm doing a revisit of the infamous band Black Sabbath. So I want to go ahead and talk about some recent news, and then we will get back into Sabbath. Now, um, right now, as of today, it is 10-14-2014, which is October 14th. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, I, got a, I got a little bit of news going on, and let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, uh, Corey Taylor from Slipknot, Stone Sour, got interviewed, and people are talking shit about the new um, Slipknot sounding like Stone Sour. Now he comes back at a, he comes back at the at the fans and says Slipknot doesn't sound like Stone Sour. Now let me put my little two cents in this thing. Me personally, I do not think Slipknot sounds like Stone Sour at all. But I, I do hear a lot of people say it, but I really don't hear it. Um, I, I've heard the new Slipknot already. It's not even out yet, but it leaked and I've heard it. And it, I don't. It's not comparable whatsoever. So that's just my own two cents in there. Uh, you know, people just just say shit just to say it. And uh, also, you know, I heard there was a petition going on to get Ghost BC to just break up. That's bullshit. Bullshit. I hope it doesn't happen. But there is also a petition for a uh, fucking uh, Nickelback or whatever to not to not tour somewhere or whatever. So yeah, I, I agree on that. Let's get Nickelback out this motherfucker. They suck. Suck. All right, well, that's it for news stories. Had to had to clear that out of my head. Those have been bothering me in the last two months or whatever. But uh, anyways, now let's talk about some Black Sabbath news stories, okay? Now, ever since I last talked to you guys, Black Sabbath, I didn't, you know, we heard nothing from them. But ever since then, we heard Bill Ward was not going to be on the new album, which he wasn't. And uh, pretty much... I believe that's it. And Brad Wilkes ended up coming to drum with them in the drum sessions. So pretty much that's pretty much all the news. Um, so, all right. Now let's go ahead and talk about Black Sabbath. You obviously you guys know the lineup and all that. If you don't, then go ahead and watch my old JP Metal show because it, it, it explains the whole thing, and I'm not going to go over it again. But anyways, all right. Now let's go ahead. I want to talk to you guys about the um, a, a friend show. Uh, he brought it up to me, and he told me there's this, you know, like the Mob Rules Black Sabbath cover says "Kill Ozzy" right on the cover of it. I'm like, nah, -uh, no way. And I guess it was like one of those hidden things that uh, I don't know. I guess was somewhat hidden. So I googled it as I do everything. And, uh, yeah, it actually does say Kill Ozzy. It, it's, it's very, very, very faint, but you can read it. And someone actually highlighted it in red where you could see Kill Ozzy. And, uh, wow. But Tony Iommi and all them said, you know, they didn't put that there. It was a mistake, all that. But, I don't know. I think there might have been some bad blood back then. And they probably didn't like Ozzy very much. <laughs> When they had Dio, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think about it? You guys think it was an accident? Do you guys think it was on purpose? I don't know. My opinion, it might have been on purpose because it, it, it's pretty clear when you see Kill Ozzy. It's, 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 it, once you see it, you, you know, I'm going to be, every time I see that album cover now, I'm, that's like the first thing I'm going to see now. It's like once you see it, you never, you know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, you guys, I want to have a little debate here. Now, considering you've listened to 13 already, and if you haven't, then stop watching this right now. Go buy Black Sabbath's 13 record and listen to it. And, uh, yeah. But anyways, for the people that have listened to 13. Now, does Black Sabbath, you know... 
considering drummer wise, do you put you know do you have to have Bill Ward, you know, to be on, on Black Sabbath? Is it Black Sabbath without Bill Ward? I mean, are you even going to give Thirteen a chance, or have you given it a chance, considering you know Bill Ward's not on it? Um, now, me personally, here's how I how, here's how I look at it. All right, there's no Bill Ward. Yeah, it sucks. You know, what are you gonna do? But, um, here's how I think of it. All right, we got Tony Iommi, original member. Geezer Butler, also original member. Ozzy, original member. The only person you're missing, um, Bill Ward. So, you take away that one member, you still have 75% of the band. 75% in my book is passing. So, that's how I see it, and uh, I'm going to still listen to him, um, considering there is no Bill Ward. And considering on the drums on 13, wow, he, uh, Brad Wilk, nailed it. Also, you know, I do want to bring up Tony Iommi in this because he does have cancer, and um, it does suck. Um, I don't want him to have cancer, but shit happens. And uh, so, Tony, man, I'm thinking about you, and I hope you get better, and I hope, you know, I hope you get rid of that cancer, because we, we, we need you, buddy. Tony. All right. Also, the most recent news that we've heard is uh, Black Sabbath is going to continue working on a new record at the first of the year. 2015 so that's gonna be really cool Ozzy said before that they had a lot of leftover music from 13 from those sessions so we're, we're gonna see what's going on you know what's going on with that and that's gonna be really really cool you guys to have some new Sabbath wow it's gonna be cool wow alright guys let's go ahead and talk about I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna have a little discussion and please let me know yours as well in the comments below. The top five Black Sabbath records. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, don't get me wrong, 13 was a great record, but there was a lot of other great records as well. So my number five, as you might know already, is 13. Why it's number five is because... You know, it's it's a great album, don't get me wrong. I give it about a 9 out of 10. It's a solid, heavy record, and it was a, probably one of the greatest comebacks of maybe all time. I don't know. But, uh, it, 13, it's it's just a hell of an album. But I, I can't really explain why it's, it's number 5, because number 4, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, classic. Oh, some of the riffs on there are just unbelievably heavy and considering it's one of the first metal albums almost one of the, you know it's just it's god I don't know how to explain it it's just really great it's a great album number three master of reality just look at the album cover for god's sakes even the album cover will tell you it's just going to be a heavy record. It's an old school metal record. And some of the songs on there, the riffs, the bass, the drums, all that put together on there with Ozzy's vocals. <sighs> wow. Number two, Black Sabbath. Can't really say much more. E even, even Black Sabbath, the song, it's just... Oh, man. But... As you guys know this, number one, the best Black Sabbath record of all time. Everybody should know this. Even the cover is pretty weird, and people do talk shit about it. Paranoid. Paranoid, best Black Sabbath record of all time. And if you don't agree with me, then I'm sorry we can't be a Black Sabbath fan. <laughs> I mean, a Black Sabbath friend, but uh, whatever. Um, Paranoid is number one. Um, but a lot of people do not like, they don't like the album cover whatsoever, and uh, I don't know why. I, I've always liked the album cover, you know, it's just a guy that's blurry, and it looks like he's like running in the woods and stuff, but, um, yeah, Paranoid. Number one, baby. 
So what it is. Now, I have two runner-ups. It was very hard for me to not put these in here. And I had to give them a little shout-out, their own separate little page. And it just made me think of Ronnie James Dio extremely bad. But the runner-ups are The Mob Rules and Heaven and Hell. Because both of those are great records as well. Those are those are definitely eights in my book. And if you guys haven't heard it, please go go listen to those. Because those are just almost damn well as good. But those are my runner-ups, you guys. And uh, that's my top five Sabbath records. I will put those in the, in the record book record books forever. Now, Black Sabbath kicks ass, and they always will until whenever. Now, I, I love Sabbath. Don't get me wrong. I do, I do, I do. But, man, uh, you know, I do wish, do wish Bill Ward would get back into the band, but I know it's not going to happen. Now, also, what they were talking about, Black Sabbath, once they do put out a new record, they said they were going to tour the United States. And they're going to do one final tour. In which, if they do that, I'm excited because they came here to Tampa during the 13 um, album tour. And I, I, I missed them. I missed them. I missed them. I was so pissed at myself for missing them. Now, I have to go to the show when, when they, if they ever come to Tampa. I'll even try for Orlando, but Orlando's hard for me to do. Um, but I'm definitely going to go if they come to Tampa. I have to seriously go and see Black Sabbath before they they just don't tour ever again, if they ever do again. Now, Black Sabbath, one of the oldest bands, the first heavy metal band, in my opinion, of all time. And you got to give them props, you guys. Seriously, they are old. They are great, and they are still kicking ass here in 2014. Wow. Gotta, gotta hand it to them, you guys. So, thank you guys for watching. This is JTV Metal Show, and I hope you guys seriously like it. I like having little debates like this, you know, like, you know, Bill Ward and all that. So, I, 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 I ugh, can't talk today. I'd also like to know your, um, your opinions, and uh, do you have a different top five best records by Black Sabbath? If you do, let me know below in the comments. Um, I'd like to know your, you know, your opinion as well. And, you know, um, make your own metal show. You know, I, I, you know, I like seeing people make, make up their own metal show. I know um, a few people do. And uh, it's, it's interesting to see what, what comes out of it. And uh, it's, it's great metal talk. And uh, please let me know if, you know, if you like this or what, what do you want to hear, a band that you want me to talk about. Let me know in the comments, or you can even make a video response, or you could do anything that you really want to. So, thank you for watching, guys. Keep everything metal. It is October, most metal month of the year, and it is awesome. Thank you for watching. My name is John, and I will see you next time here on JTB Metal Show. One, two, three. Peace out.